Hi, I'm Paul from ElkinsDIY.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do a deck railing. And if you got a view like me, you might want to try using some of this. It's called hog wire. I bought these in 5 foot by 16 foot sections. Cut them down to 8 foot and then cut those down to 2.5 feet wide. So one panel was able to give me four panels. I need seven to complete this project. Here's how it's done. Well, here's what I've done so far. But I started by taking all my boards down to the shop and pre-painting them with a good primer paint combination. This little leg here, three and three quarter inches high. When building to code, you want to be able to take a four inch ball and not be able to pass it through anything on your deck railing. This is a two by four standing on edge. And then it comes up to a little riser, 26 inches high right here. This is a two by four split in two. Again, this one here split in two goes underneath the handrail. Look close here. The hog wire fence in the corner, the way it's welded is off center. So your grooves have got to be off center. So you start your cut right in the center and move it to one side. That way when you make your cut, you flip your boards over. Look at that. There's your offset. Pretty cool, huh? To get a wide enough groove to accept the hog wire, I had to put two blades together on my table saw. And I ran that at a 5 8 inch depth down the boards. On my um, handrails, I made sure I grabbed the best boards of the bunch. Gave them three good coats. Let's start with this little guy here. But first, the tool list. For power tools, we're going to use a chop saw. I used a cordless drill and an angle grinder. I used the angle grinder to cut my hog wire. Right now I have a grinding wheel on there. There's a cutoff wheel. Tools to attach the cutoff wheel. And I'm going to be using this to mark the uh, hog wire. Of course you're going to want hearing and eye protection. Eighth inch, seven thirty seconds and nine thirty seconds drill bit to pre-drill. A long Phillips bit and a short Phillips. I'm going to be using two and a half inch galvanized nails and screws. This little guy here is two inch. Pencil, uh, nail set, hammer, tape measure. Yeah, there we go. Let's get on with it. Start by pre-drilling your little legs with a 7 seconds inch drill bit. Sink in your two and a half inch uh, galvanized screw. I've got a line there on the post so I can center all my panels. Looks like we got 76 and a quarter minus. It's always good to set up your chop saw close by. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to do a little pre-drilling. Here I'm using my 8th inch drill bit. I scoot the bore out a little bit because when I nail it's going to push it back in a ways. Take your nail set. This is my 9 30 seconds drill bit. I'm going to do two little pilot holes starting at about oh, 05 inches out. The 9 30 seconds is basically just to uh, give a little more room for the head to slip in the groove. The screw head will actually seat at the bottom of this groove. Now I'll switch out to the little bit. Once you get a system down, it goes pretty fast. Now we stick our two and a half inch screw in there. The bottom and top plate are going to have this fat edge here pointing outside. And the side ones, the fat edge here is going to be going on the inside. So I have two grooves that are 5 8 inch deep. Add those together to get an inch and a quarter. Add 72 and three quarter and 73, 74 inches. So half of 74 is 37 inches. Let's get 37 inches going here and uh, okay. I would say we put that in the center of the square. So then, from here, I'll measure out 
to the end. This is a measuring technique that I use to uh, make the panel look centered in the wood frame that's going to sit in. 37 this way. I try to situate the panel to where I have long wire ends sticking out all around the panel. Here we go. Now I'm subtracting a little bit on the overall dimension so it'll slip in the groove. Now you don't have to use a cutoff wheel like I'm using, you can use bolt cutters if you've got them. Actually they make a cleaner cut, you don't need to grind off the tips like I'm later going to do. So again, these started out as 5 foot by 16 foot panels. They're galvanized. I had the guys at the local co-op where I purchased it to uh, do the cutting. Uh, they used bolt cutters and they didn't measure going down the center of it. So they varied <laughs> in dimensions. Here on mine, I'm measuring 1 and 7 eighths. This is where the guy at the uh, place just clipped it. It's all kind of random, so I'm cleaning it up. He got it real close. He just eyeballed it. Some of these you'll have to cut off. Some are too short, but we got plenty here that are right on to help support it. Thought I'd mention it that uh, Hogwire Railing is an outfit that has distributors all over the country, and they sell this panel in eight foot by three foot and six foot by three foot sections that are black powder coated and silver powder coated. They're four times the cost, but for a better look. Check them out. To get my panel height dimension, I went ahead and added the two groups together and added 26 inches and subtract a little bit for clearance. Now I'm switching off to my grinder wheel. Take some edges off. It's done just to take off any little birds so when you slip it in the groove it doesn't hang up. Let's see how we did. This takes a little practice. You want to raise the lower tongs a little above the groove about a half inch. Get them started on one side. Slide them in. Then you want to arc the panel to get it on this other side. A little tricky. Try not to mire up the sides. There we go. And then tap it down lightly. You want to be gentle on these. You don't want to break the uh, weldment by hitting too hard on these. So this board goes underneath the rail and will do the final sandwiching of the panel. We're going to drill some screws up through here into the railing. So I'm taking my 9 30 seconds drill bit again. Just tapping the uh, bottom of the groove there. Used as a guide for the 2 inch screws. So I'm going to put a screw right through here to the fat part of this 2x2. Two two. Do a pre-drill. My short tip back on. Using the 2.5 uh, inch galvanized. This is when I switch over to the long Phillips bit. Again, I'm using my two inch galvanized wood screws. I've already got it lined up. I think we're done. <laughs> there you go. To prevent rain from getting in the bottom group and routing the board out, I um, added these little spacers. 
I'm just gluing them in. Goes pretty quick once you get going. So here's what it looks like when we're done. I made these little pieces so they recessed in the groove just a little bit. That way I'm able to add some caulking over them. Here's the caulking all finished on the cracks. I think that'll hold out the moisture just fine. If you want, you could finish by uh Filling little cracks up with silicone like I'm doing. Wasn't too difficult, went pretty fast. Anyway, get out there and make yourself a hog wire fence, railing, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.